Hey guys, so I was going to go ahead and create another video to just kind of get you um, practicing these ABGs because sometimes just going through them with someone else or kind of seeing my process might be helpful. Again, I'm using the Rome method, but if you want to do your own method and work through these with me, feel free to. Um, but I'm going to kind of show you the steps that I go through. So first, I use this website called survivenursing.com slash ABG, and it literally cycles through. And if I just keep clicking on this and pressing enter, which I don't want to because I want to have my answers, um, it will just keep generating ABGs for me indefinitely. So I could practice till the end of time if I really wanted to. So um, what I did is I copied and pasted these into a document and this is where I'm going to kind of do my work here. And so effectively what I'm going to do first is, you know, I love to draw my arrows. So I'm going to start by drawing all of my arrows for all of these so that I can um, be ready to solve all these. Because first I need to know if they're, everything's high, low or normal. So um, I wrote out, well, that one wrote out wrong. Excuse me, I'm sorry here. Let me go back to this 7.35, there you go. <laughs> I don't know what happened here. Apparently I was distracted, but here's my normals. 7.35 to 7.45. My CO2 normals are 35 to 45, and then my bicarb is 22 to 26. So effectively, um, those are my normals. And all I'm doing here is I'm doing arrows to say, are things high, are things low, or are they normal? Are they the same? So first I'm gonna look at this pH, 7.55. So that is high. And if you haven't watched the, if you haven't figured out a method to do this, this is probably not the best video to watch. This is more after you've um, kind of found a method that works for you and you want more practice. My CO2 is 47, which is also high. And then my bicarb is 33, which is also high. All right, so let's look at this one. I'm gonna go through and do the arrows for all of them first. So that way I don't have to go in between draw mode and text mode. pH 7.41, that's normal. CO2 51, that's high. And my HCO3 is 37, which is high. I'm also gonna go here and I wanna see, um, you know, which, uh, which side is this leaning more towards? Is it more alkalotic or is it more acidotic? And it's more on the high end of normal. So I'm gonna put a little up arrow there. So um, I'll explain more of that if you don't know what I mean there. So now I'm gonna look at this one, 7.23, that's low. My CO2 is 27, that's low. The bicarb of 16, that is low. This one, 7.76, that's high. CO2 of 50, that's high. CO3 of 37, that's high. Um, then I've got my pH of 7.45, that is normal, but it's on the high end of normal. A little up arrow there. My CO2 of 36, that's gonna be normal. And my HCO3 of 26 is gonna be normal. So then I've got my pH of 7.12, that's low. CO2 of 49, that's high. HCO3 of 33, that's high. But my pH is 7.45, that's normal. CO2 of 35, that's normal. And HCO3 of 22, that's normal. Got my pH of 7.57, that's increased. CO2 of 38, that's oh, almost there, normal. HCO3 of 29, that's increased. Then this one, 7.86, that's increased. CO2 of 50, that's increased. And 37, that's increased. Up. The last one, C a pH of 7.19 is low. CO2 of 24, that is low. And HCO3 of 14, that is low. So I got a lot of arrows now. And so thanks for sticking with me if you're still here with me. But let's start kind of writing these out. So let me get out of my draw mode. And let's get into my writing mode. And so now I'm gonna start kind of writing these out. So these all have three names. Um, you know, if you watch my other videos, you kind of know they each have different, um, they have three parts of their name. I need to write, is it acidosis or alkalosis? Is it metabolic or respiratory? 
And then is it, is it fully compensated, partially compensated or uncompensated? So first I'm gonna name the easiest part. And that is, I wanna see, is it acidosis or alkalosis? So I'm gonna look at my pH and my pH is up. So I have a state of alkalosis. So I already know that um, I'm on the high end of normal. Now I need to figure out, do I have a respiratory problem or a metabolic? And I like to use the Rome method. So um, when I do that, I'm pretty much comparing my pH with my CO2. If it's going in the opposite direction of my CO2, I have a respiratory problem. If it's going in the same direction as my CO2, then I have a metabolic problem. So when I'm looking at this, my pH is going in the same direction of my bicarb and the same direction of my CO2. So since this is a, this is a not, a, it's not going in the opposite direction of my respiratory system. I'm looking just at my arrows here when I'm talking about this. Then I have a metabolic problem. My pH and my HCO3 are going in the same direction. So I have a, well, got rid of my red. I have a metabolic problem. So now the last thing I need to do is name the first part. So what I need to do is I need to see, is my other system helping? So I have a metabolic problem. If I have a metabolic problem, that means my respiratory system needs to come help. So I need to look at my CO2. If my CO2 is normal, my lungs aren't helping yet. They're not changing what they're doing in order to try to compensate. But now I look at my CO2 and it's abnormal, which means it's trying to help. It's trying to come save the day. In other words, I have too much... Um, alkalosis. And so my CO2 is going up to make more acid so that um, that pH can balance out. So this is partially compensated metabolic alkalosis. Let's go back this up here. So that's that one. Let's look at this one. So for this one, um, it's a little bit of a different story. So I have a pH that is normal, but it's on the high side of normal. So that means um, since I'm more on the high side of normal, I'm more high than I am low. So I'm most likely in a state of alkalosis. So then the next step is again to figure out, well, am I in a state of respiratory or metabolic alkalosis? So again, I'm gonna compare my pH with my CO2. Once again, they're going in the same direction. So if they're going in the same direction, that means I cannot have a respiratory problem. But look at my pH, it's going in the same direction of my bicarb. And because it's going in the same direction of my bicarb, I once again have a metabolic problem. Now, but this time something's a little different. My pH is normal. So since my pH is normal, once my pH goes back to a normal range, the 7.35 to 7.45, that means I am now fully compensated. So um, if, I, if my um, pH is normal and my other two values are abnormal, I'm in a state of fully compensated whatever. Pretty much I am back. My pH is back in where it's supposed to be. My body may still be doing other things, but as a whole, I'm getting back to normal because my pH is normal. So then I have um, this one. So this one's a little different. So first again, I'm looking to see, is it acidotic or alkalotic? Is it high or low? This one's low. So this is the first one we had. That's a state of acidosis. It's a low pH. Uh, and now I'm going to look over here and I'm, this is low and I want to compare it again to my CO2. And so once again, even though this one's low, now this one's low too. So they're going in the same direction. But remember, in order for it to be a respiratory problem, one would have to be going down, one would have to be going up. But so now I'm going to look here again. I need to compare my pH with my bicarb. They're going in the same direction. So once again here, because I'm going in the same direction, the pH and the HCO3 are both going down. I'm in a state of uh, frustration from it turning black now, <laughs> metabolic acidosis. So then um, again, I need to figure out is my um, other body system helping? So again, I'm in a state of metabolic issues. So what I need to look at now is are my lungs helping? Is my CO2 changing? Has my CO2 changed to start help to balance out my pH? And look, it started to go low. So I'm in a state of acidosis. So I need less CO2. So my body, my lungs are gonna start breathing off more carbon dioxide in order to help. So now I am 
back again, red, All right. partially compensated metabolic acidosis. Hopefully this is kind of starting to get the hang of these. So let's look um, at uh, what we caught. Some of these are gonna be the same. Um, what he caught, uh, we already did, like some of these after kind of doing the arrows, I can tell that these are gonna be the same thing. Cause we see here again, we have a high pH. So we have an alkalosis. I'm going opposite, uh, I'm sorry. I'm going the same direction of my CO2, same direction of my bicarb. So again, I'm in a state of metabolic dysfunction. And then um, once again, my lungs are trying to help. So I am partially compensated. So let's take a look at this one. So this one's a little different. So in this one, everything is normal. Even though, like I know I said, this is the high end of normal because I'm so used to doing that. All my numbers are normal. So if all my numbers are normal, I have a normal ABG. So there's nothing to do with that. If everything's normal, I don't have a problem. So let's look at this one. So for this one, um, my pH is low. So I have a state of acidosis, but then my, my CO2 is finally opposite. So this is what I'm talking about when I say opposite. My pH is going down, but my CO2 is going up. So they're going in opposite directions. So because they're going in opposite direction, I have, finally have a respiratory problem. And so, um, now again, uh, I need to see if my other friend is helping. So when I have a respiratory problem, I need to see if my kidneys are helping. I need to see if my bicarb is normal or abnormal. If my bicarb is normal, that means my kidneys aren't helping yet. They're not trying to do their job yet. So I am uncompensated, but look here, the, the bicarb is elevated. So my kidneys, they're trying to come to the rescue. They're trying to help balance out this acid base imbalance. So I am again, partially compensated. So here we have another one where everything is normal. So since uh, we've got everything's normal, we have a normal ABG. So let's look at this one. So for this one, um, I have a pH that's high. So I have a state of alkalosis. And then I have a, um, I need to compare it. Well, here's the first time we haven't come across this. I have a pH, but I have nothing to compare it to for my CO2. So if I can't compare it to my CO2 because my CO2 is normal, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna compare my pH with whatever else I can compare it to. So my pH is high and my bicarb is high. So then we go back to the respiratory opposite. I can't compare that. So the metabolic is equal. So is my pH and my bicarb equal? Are they going in the same direction? And they are, they're both going in the same direction. So I have a state of, I know that y'all are laughing at me now for all these problems with technology. Metabolic alkalosis. You would think I would have learned by now, but I just keep hoping things will go my way. Um, so if I'm a metabolic alkalosis, but here, remember we talked about that if I'm in a metabolic problem, I wanna see if my lungs are helping. So I'm gonna go look at my carbon dioxide and my carbon dioxide's normal. This means that my lungs haven't kicked in yet. They haven't started helping yet. So now I'm in a state of uncompensated metabolic alkalosis. So in other words, um, my kidneys aren't working, my pH is off, but my lungs haven't, you know, started to try to go in the right direction yet to start helping because my CO2 is normal. In other words, this, this is still normal. My kidney, uh, my um, lungs haven't started compensated yet. So um, pretty much that's what we call uncompensated. These last few, I believe we've already done similar problems. So um, again, my pH is high, so I have the state of alkalosis. Um, then my CO2 is, uh, the, sorry, my pH and my CO2 are going in the same direction. So it can't be a metabolic problem, but it uh, can't be a lung problem. I'm sorry, now it's getting late. Um, wait, caught. so my, let me say that again. So my pH and my CO2 are going in the same direction. So it can't be a respiratory problem. So then I'm gonna look at my pH and my HCO3. They're going in the same direction. And remember, respiratory opposite metabolic same, or they're equal. They're going in the same direction. So I have a metabolic alkalosis again. And then I look to my lungs and see, are my lungs starting to help? And my CO2 over here is abnormal. So that means I have a partially compensated metabolic alkalosis. 
All right, last but not least, I have this where I have a low pH, so I have a state of acidosis. Then I'm looking again to my, um, comparing my arrows. So my pH is low. And so I wanna see if, is my CO2 going in the same direction or an opposite direction? Well, my, P, my CO2 is going in the same direction. And remember, in order for it to be a respiratory problem, they have to be going opposite. So now I'm gonna compare my pH with my HCO3. Well, they're going in the same direction. So once again, I have a metabolic issue. And then I'm looking to see if my CO2 is helping at all. And it looks like it's trying to do its job. So since it's trying to compensate, almost got away with finishing out strong, trying to compensate, I am partially compensated. So that's just working through a few problems. I hope this was helpful to you to help get you started. And again, just keep trying to find a way that works for you. Um, and, um, you know, let me know how else I can help. Uh, just know that, you know, these ABGs can seem really tough on the outside, but once you kind of have a systematic method, just make sure you always stick to it. And even as you start to get better at these, don't cut any corners, always do it the same way so that you don't forget anything or miss anything. See you guys later.